Hi, Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we're going to do a review of a product called the Sock Slider, and that's what I have here sitting on my lap. I saw this on TV and wanted to get it to see what it was like. I work with occupational therapists, and with a lot of our clients, they work with them on dressing. And one of the things that they include with that is how to put on their shoes and socks. So uh, there are a lot of uh, sock aids out there, and I wanted to get this one in particular to see how it worked. So again, it's called the Sock Slider. I got this off of, off, as seen t on TV, and um, when it arrived, uh, we had the box. There was a few pieces in the box. There wasn't any actually written instructions in the box, and I'm thinking it may not come with those just because there's a lot of pictures and instructions on the outside of the box as to how to use this product. So we're going to check this out. In the box, I got these uh, pieces here. So this little piece right here came into two, in two pieces. It just snaps together, all right? Um, this is the base of the sock slider, and it's got a rubberized bottom for a non-skid surface. It also has a little hook on the back end of the base here. This is the sock slider, the mouth of it here, which will go on the base, and this is what you'll put your sock on. So let's put this together, okay? So we'll put this base together. This is what it's going to look like right here, okay? And we'll get a sock and put this on the base. So the first thing I'm going to do is use an athletic sock. So that's what I've got here. On the box it advertises athletic socks, dress socks, um, I think other sports socks, and maybe compression socks. So we're going to take a look at a few of these right now. So this is an athletic sock. What you do is you um, point the toes away from you. You're going to open the mouth of the sock and slide it over the end of the sock slider right here. And what I do, I have practiced this several times, and I want to, I'm trying to get the heel pretty close to this cutout right here so that my, the heel ends up where it's supposed to whenever I put it on. So putting this on the floor, if you have difficulty bending over, you can use this little piece. You can hook it right here on the back of this hook, and you can lower it to the floor for yourself just like this, okay? All right, so we're going to put this like this. I am going to slide my foot in just like that. We're going to push through, okay? And there we have my sock is on my foot, okay? So that's for the athletic sock. Um, now, we're going to next try a dress sock, but while I am addressing this, I want to show you that they also said that you can use this piece right here to help remove one of your socks, which is is true. You can take this little piece, you can slide it in the back of your sock, and you can push the sock off just like that. Okay? So that works. Let me get a dress sock now. We'll pick this back up. Okay. Now we're going to put the dress sock on. Again, the toes go away from us. We're going to open the mouth of the sock and slide it over. I'll slide it up to about where my heel is in this cutout. Okay, we're going to put this back on the floor, like so. Oops, okay. All right, now we're going to slide my foot in. Okay, now what I have noticed with the, direct, the dress sock or the longer sock is I have a little bit of difficulty getting my foot through here far enough to get the sock to come off the slider, okay? Now I did try pulling from the back side, which actually tips the slider up a little bit. When I do that, it's going to pull the sock right off, and it's not going to allow the sock to come up on my foot. The only other way that I was able to get the sock off is, was to actually slide my foot and slide my body further through the sock slider so that the sock came up my leg. Now, if you have a reacher, you can adjust the sock with this. I, I don't, it's not my favorite. I'm not real impressed with how it puts on the longer socks. Just because I have a lot of clients that are not able to scoot forward in their chair, they have difficulty with that. Um, the angle here is a little bit difficult for the longer sock, so I, I didn't like that in particular. Now, I'm going to take this off, and I want to address the compression socks. So with this sock slider, it does advertise that you can use it with compression socks. The only problem that I have with this, and it's, it's the same with a lot of um, sock aids, is when you go to put a, a compression sock on a sock aid, because of the tightness of the sock, it puts pressure 
on the opening to where your foot goes in to, uh, to enter into the sock. So as I put it on here, it gets tighter and tighter. It's kind of hard to slide on, number one, so if I had some trouble with grip strength in my hands, this might be a little bit difficult. Uh, the second thing is, is once you get it on, because of the compression of the sock, it starts to squeeze the side of the sock slider, which makes it very narrow for me to get my foot in here, okay? So if I put this down and I start to slide my foot in here, first of all, it's kind of pinching. It's pretty tight. And as I start to slide, my sock is already moving without me, okay? So I, I, I don't feel like this is a good thing for compression socks. Um, now the other advertisement for the sock slider is that you can use this piece as a shoehorn, okay? I have a couple of, I have my shoes here. They are not tie-up shoes, they're actually slip-on shoes. If you have trouble bending over, you're going to have trouble tying your shoes. So you may be using elastic shoestrings, something like that. Um, if you have a question about those, we do have a video on elastic shoestrings and uh, shoehorns, so take a look at that. But I want to show you how to use this as a shoehorn. So you can take this piece right here, put it in the back of your shoe, and you're going to hold the back of your shoe and kind of slide your foot in, okay? Now, this piece is not super slick. Um, it's, it uh, catches a little bit on my heel right here whenever I uh, push my heel into my shoe. Um, not terrible, but it's, it's not as smooth as just a regular shoehorn is, okay? So that's a review of the sock slider. Now I did want to mention, again, with the compression socks, there's, there's um, specific, um, there are specific aids out there, metal aids for the compression socks that do a lot better job in putting those on. The regular sock aids, it's difficult to put those on with. But that's a review of the sock slider. I hope you have enjoyed what we've uh, discussed today. And um, if you like what you've seen today, please subscribe to our site. Take a look at our other videos on the site. They're very informative. Have a great day, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.